Construction of what's been called the first utility-sized solar energy plant in the state has been delayed. The current credit crisis is partly to blame. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has that story. Just south of the area known as Fowl Rift on the Delaware River, there are plans to build a large-scale solar energy plant. Pennsylvania Power and Light says the facility will be built in farm fields the company owns. When completed, the plant will generate 5 megawatts of power, enough electricity for 1,500 homes. PPL hoped to have begun construction by the end of this year and have the project completed next spring, but work has been delayed. Company officials say the credit crunch is part of the blame, along with a delay in getting several permits. State officials say tight credit conditions are causing some short-term problems. We'll do whatever we can to, to help them uh, if they need discussions with, with banks about what the benefits of our programs are, what the, the financing situation is. We are certainly prepared to, to sit down and help them with their financiers to get as many projects completed as possible. The solar industry says it's losing jobs and clients because of the credit crunch. We have to address the credit issues. Uh, there's a lot of um, work that, that requires access to capital, uh, whether that's energy efficiency, whether that's building renewable facilities, or building combined heat and power uh, facilities. And we're working um, with various entities on each of those issues. PPL officials say the company is reviewing all of its capital projects, but does expect to move forward with this one. Any utility that sells power in New Jersey is required to have a certain percentage of alternative or renewable sources. State BPU officials are keeping a rebate program in place to help homeowners pay the cost of their solar installations they also say a plan is in place to provide long-term financing for solar energy projects under 500 kilowatts. And that long-term contract will be very beneficial then to the uh, financing institutions to show that there's a long-term uh, prospect for this system to, to be financially uh, viable. PPL isn't saying how much money this project will cost to build. The company says they eventually hope to increase the capacity from 5 to 50 megawatts. Alternative energy advocates are counting on the incoming Obama administration to follow through on promises to fund the so-called green economy and to help ease financing problems. He's made a, very, a number of very strong statements that green energy is going to be the wave of the future for the entire country. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.